guys welcome back to a new video you just saw me punching some holes in this copper for the paddy batch and first off I want to thank you for all the support on the documentary it really feels great and I I really feel blessed for such a nice community and such a huge amount of support and love from you guys so thanks a lot I really appreciate it um, yeah I also want to talk about the daily vlogs so I started out this daily vlog thing uh, expecting to get maybe more viewers because uh, yeah I was trying to upload more frequently and I also felt like these vlogs would give me the room to talk about you talk uh, about things uh, with you uh, more and more and explain you guys more and more and I still feel like I can do that um, but not like in these vlogs and I will explain you why there's like in these three weeks I'm doing this there's like not an increase in views and there's only a decrease and I keep, I keep getting comments like nah, blah, 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 and I to me it looks like you guys rather see the old format where I uh, where I do the full build and like to be honest this it takes lots of time to do the daily videos and if I only get like one 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 thousand two thousand views on a video something like that that's just just not worth it worth it for me so uh, I'm going back to the old format uh, because it gives me more room to also do like different projects so because of the old format with the, uh, with the, I mean with the vlog format, I woke up at 7 a.m. I started editing, went to the shop at 10 a.m. Then around 5 p.m., 6 p.m. I was tired in the shop because I started my day at 7 and I, you know, and it's kind of have you work in the shop sometimes especially on forging Damascus or something like that and then I recorded all my stuff and then I had some dinner and then I go to bed and then repeat every day so for three weeks and it was totally doable but I, there was no time for fun projects like uh, uh, like a nice Chris Decker for example I'm making right now so not having to uh, edit every day gives me like m maybe even like three hours more a day to to be in the shop and uh, yeah so i think i'm going back to the old format i still want to upload more frequently but not like the daily vlogs that's just i don't want to say it's too much but uh, it's like it's not making sense because you guys don't like it and I prefer the old format as well I think it was just an experiment and yeah that so uh <laughs> always fun when you find something and you didn't know you had it so I used to use this wanky wood for like lots of knives back in the day and I totally forgot that I just have a lot of wanky wood left and this is like perfect to go with the petty knives and it's perfect for the for the copper bolster guard like you know play these thingies to match up with the handle and i really like the combo of having dark wood copper and damascus so 
I even have like these boards, which are also Wenge wood, and that's like freaking perfect. So I can make matching sayas if I want. So first step right now is to cut this piece up into handle lengths, and then I'm gonna square off all these ends so I can drill and embed the handles. is finished only this one is sold already on the most left side the other ones the other three is still available hit me up if you're interested be sure to check out the other episodes especially the episode where I etch the blades to get a way better vision of the steel yeah all 1080 steel, 15 and 20 Damascus, very, very, very fine pattern. About 400 layers compressed into very small blades, so that's a really fine pattern. Wenge handles. Really nice little shape, shapes. Good for the small tasks in the kitchen. Really nice handle material. Hit me up. This email address you can send a mail to just say which knife you would like I can send a picture of each knife and some more information if you're interested yeah thanks for watching see you next episode